girl Jen and welcome back. I am here with the very first episode of favorites of 2018 because January is officially over. I would love to know how this month went for you because some of you guys are telling me that it went excruciatingly slow, uh, but for me, it was literally just a wash of a month. So please tell me, did it go slow or fast? Let me know in the comments down below. Either way, I'm gonna chat about some of my favorite things of January, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start things off with a fashion favorite first. Here I have this Windbreaker from Kappa. I posted this on Instagram pretty recently when I was up in the Bay, and a lot of y'all were loving this, including myself. I wore it the entire weekend when I was in San Francisco, and it truly was such a great day to night piece. In the daytime when the sun was out, the material is lightweight enough, so I'm not overheating, but when I would wear it at night, the material just cuts through the strong winds. So it's just very multifunctional, and it looks so cool. It's very retro and vibey. I love this jacket. It is a fun teal color and teal was actually my favorite color in high school so I'll always have a soft spot for this shade. Now I'm gonna move on to some beauty favorites. Here I have Fenty Beauty's Gloss Balm and I know I am so late on the Fenty train but what can I say? I feel like I'm always two or three steps behind the beauty trends but I must say this is completely worth the hype. This is definitely on my top five favorite things at Fenty Beauty and I'm not normally much of a gloss girl but when I do find a gloss that I love, I'm very loyal to it. I absolutely love the shimmer and this is just a really universal Universal shade for everybody. I think this is flattering on any skin tone and I love that it wears beautifully throughout the day. Normally with some lip glosses, it just feels really sticky and there's that weird film on your mouth. It doesn't happen with this guy. Throughout the day, it just feels like you have like a nice moisturizer on your lips and I love that. Also, it smells so good. It just smells like candy, like peach candy. This is bomb. So recently, my favorite foundation to use has been this one by NARS. This is their Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and I am in the shade Punjab. I wore this in my Get Ready With Me in Phuket, and this has been on my face nonstop since then. I think it's because when I was in such a humid climate, it held up then. So this is just a trooper for me. It likes to just stick onto my face, which I completely love. This is also very high coverage, so I only need maybe one or two pumps with this guy. One to just cover my entire face, and the other pump to just get around my under eyes. When I use this, I just skip concealer because I'll just use this product. And I really like when I can use one product in many ways. With some foundations, I find myself looking kind of cakey, but I love that this has kind of like a velvet, satiny finish. It just looks like your skin, which I enjoy. For me and my skin, this foundation is definitely a fit for me. So my next item is a beauty tool. I finally got my very first epilator and I'm very proud because before I got this, I was plucking all my armpit hair. This is like a weird activity that I started doing since my freshman year of high school because I never liked shaving my armpits because I found that when I shaved them, my pits just looked darker. So it just became a habit to pluck every single one of them. And it just became a part of my routine until one day I told Amy and she was like, why don't you just get an epilator? And so she recommended me this one and I bought it. And honestly, this was worth every single penny. It now takes like less than a minute to take off all individual hairs from my armpit and it's been incredible. This is the device. There are two settings. There's one and two. Two I never use because it's just too fast. I just find it very painful but one is definitely doable. I would show you how to like actually use it but my pits are actually pretty clean right now. I did it maybe three days ago so they're in good shape. Feel free to use this device anywhere that you grow hair like your legs down there. It's just awesome because it is so quick speedy, and you stay hair-free for a lot longer. In January, I finally ditched my Canon T3i, and God bless her soul, because she was the first DSLR that I ever purchased. This was back in 2008 or 2009, so since like the birth of this channel, but that T3i, just really documented some great memories. Anytime that I used equipment that wasn't the T3i while I was vlogging, it just didn't compare to the quality and just the standard that I had for vlogging. But I knew it was time for a change because it was just getting way too heavy. Like I was lugging around an eight pound piece of equipment everywhere and I was hurting my back. And I just knew that 
Like there is, there's got to be something on the market for me where it is just a lot more efficient. So I asked my friend Jesse, who knows a ton about camera equipment, and so he recommended me this. This is the Canon EOS M6. I also bought a wide angle lens to attach with it because when I'm vlogging by myself, I don't want the frame to be too close. And I like to just have just everything in the screen and I can choose to crop if I want to. Uh, but yeah, I bought these two pieces separately and this has been amazing to vlog with. I vlogged my entire second half of January with this, so you guys will see the footage later, but it meets my standard and it is so easy to just bust it out and start filming. With my Canon T3i, I would have to like manually focus and set the exposure, but with this, it just does everything for you. It's kind of like a pimped out version of the Canon G7X and this has truly been such a great investment for me and I can't wait to just start vlogging more. This also has a flip out screen so obviously perfect for vloggers and I am just stoked about this. Very happy to have graduated to this new camera. My last favorite is a TV show called End of the Effing World. This is on Netflix and this was recommended to me by Silas who is So So's man. He just texted me and Ben and was like, hey, watch this new show and we're like, okay. And we loved it. It is a black comedy featuring two teenagers. It's kind of like a Bonnie and Clyde because they are just the true definition of a ride or die. And at first, when you watch the show, you don't really know what to think of the characters. Like they're actually kind of unlikable in the beginning, but as you continue to watch it, they become very endearing and they bring out the best in each other. Or maybe the worst. Either way, it is a really fun and easy watch. I also love the way it's shot. It kind of reminds me of Wes Anderson with like the symmetry and the flat lays and just the quirky characters. I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a new show to watch. All right, everyone, that is a wrap on my January favorites. I am so sorry that I don't have a book favorite for you. I actually spent January reading the four hour work week and I did not like it. And if I'm gonna be frank, the author just kind of seemed kind of douchebaggy. I read it like halfway through and I was like, I just, I just can't finish this. So yeah, I didn't want to recommend you guys a book that I didn't like. Either way, I hope to find a better book to read in January. I'm thinking about reading A Thousand Splendid Sons. A lot of you guys were recommending me that, so I need to go read it. It's been a long time since I've read a, a fiction book and I also love The Kite Runner. So I'm gonna go check that out next month. If you guys have any fiction books that you'd like to recommend me, please write it in the comments down below. I will add it to my to read list. But yes, as usual, please write down anything that inspired you or something nice that happened to you last month in the comments down below. I would love to read about it. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.